Thousands of DNA variants have been associated with human diseases. In order to use these genetic variants to get new insights into disease biology, one critical step is to determine the cell type that is altered by the presence of the disease-associated allele. Whether a DNA variant confers risk by altering function in the blood versus the brain can lead to very different hypotheses about the pathogenesis of the trait. Multiple sclerosis is a complex multicellular disease. It is both an autoimmune and neurodegenerative disorder. MS is characterized by immune infiltration into the central nervous system, leading to attack on oligodendrocytes and loss of myelin. More than 200 genetic risk loci have been associated with multiple sclerosis. These variants have primarily been linked to T and B cell function. In our paper, we describe a new approach for identifying the specific cell types in which the disease allele exerts a pathogenic effect. To do this, we take advantage of the fact that genes are frequently regulated by multiple transcriptional enhancer elements. Our approach evaluates the impact of DNA variants in regulatory elements that physically engage shared target promoters in order to identify outside variants. Outside variants not only physically interact with the same target gene as disease-associated SNPs, they also significantly contribute to one's risk of developing disease. We leverage outside variants to distinguish the intralocus regions that contribute to disease risk from those that do not. By comparing the intralocus risk information to the molecular activity of different cell types measured by chip sequencing, we can identify the cell type in which the active regulatory elements correspond with the genetic variants that alter risk to disease. This allows us to predict the cell types that are pathogenically altered by the disease-associated variants. We applied this approach to MS and identified the pathogenic cell type for 70% of risk loci. The majority were predicted to impact the function of T cells, but we also identified loci that alter the function of myeloid and central nervous system cell types, including three loci which we predict to act in the oligodendrocyte lineage. The oligodendrocytes are the cells responsible for generating myelin in the central nervous system. We found two of the oligodendrocyte loci to dysregulate genes involved in the same pathway the regulation of transcriptional pause release. These target genes help to regulate the release of RNA polymerase II from the promoter to facilitate elongation. Further functional studies revealed that inhibition of transcriptional elongation is a dominant pathway blocking oligodendrocyte maturation and the development of new myelinating oligodendrocytes. Furthermore, we found pause release factors to be frequently dysregulated in MS patient brain tissue. These results suggest that some individuals may be predisposed towards increased transcriptional pausing and therefore be less efficient at generating new myelin. Our study implicates cell intrinsic aberrations outside of the immune system in the genetic risk to MS and suggests new avenues for therapeutic development. Altogether, these results indicate that applying the outside variant approach to multiple disorders could facilitate rapid delineation of the pathogenic consequence of disease-associated variants.